this building is all about the university motto, the glory of God is intelligence, in other words, light and truth. And so much of what a visitor to the Joseph F. Smith building will see is powerfully symbolic. In the 12th and 13th century in Europe began the institution that we know as the university today. One of the things that BYU has in common with those very first universities was the desire to find a way to discuss in rigorous and systematic ways the relationship between reason and between faith. Our building is based on two geometric forms, a square and a circle. The square suggesting time, the four corners of the earth, the cardinal points, the circle suggesting eternity. And so in those two forms come together the divine conversation between God and man in these medieval courtyards, there was always a well, and that well provided water for the daily uses uh, in the churches and in the monasteries. The well has always been a place of nourishment, a place of conversation, and a place of covenant. We wanted to provide that same kind of anchoring space. The fountain itself was designed to imitate rocks as pieces of broken tablet that were emerging from the ground. And so there is this notion of commandment and covenant and words and languages. The foundation for the building is a travertine stone that was quarried just north of Rome. And for this building, we wanted a white travertine. These large travertine arches speak of connections and strength each stone is built on top of another stone. In this way, the arches suggest to me a community of learners, where individuals like stones built upon each other create something more powerful, more enduring, more beautiful than any of us could be by ourselves. Light is an important dimension in every feature of this building. Each faculty office has a window that is 50 square feet of glass allowing the offices to be bathed in the divine light of heaven and to work from that light if they so wish. I love this beautiful spiral staircase that invites us to ascend step by step toward our educational goals while we are bathed in the light that comes in through this skylight that to my mind suggests the divine revelation available to us that enlightens us in our educational aspirations. When one looks at the ground plane in the building, there is a very ingenious geometrical design. That was adopted from a pattern that was traced by the great Florentine artist Michelangelo and then eventually used in the Capitoline Hill in Rome. There is a beautiful relationship between Michelangelo's geometric design of the sunburst and the spiral staircase with its oculus. To my mind, the light that comes down vertically through the spiral staircase suggests the divine light of God, of revelation, of that kind of sure knowledge. The horizontal pattern suggests our secular strivings for knowledge of the world. And so precisely at the stair, at the heart of the sunburst image, is the point of intersection between this secular striving and revealed knowledge through the vertical shaft of light that comes through the stair. When people come to this building, it is my hope that they will feel a reverence for the wonderful gifts of human intelligence and that the building will provide an opportunity for us to think perhaps in more eloquent ways about the relationship between discipline and discipleship. Both of those words suggesting learning, but suggesting learning in different contexts with different teachers, but with similar outcomes 
which is to draw us closer to our Heavenly Father, having met the richness of the divine potential that He seated in each one of us. The building as it stands now, we think, is a wonderful gift to Brigham Young University.